Here we've got a Hesemann. This is another profile sander. We've got the controllers up in here. This is the way we've moved this. And, but this is another uh, a real good profile sander. All of these racks behind us are filled with uh, different kinds of laminate, paper, or vinyl that has been used to wrap this MDF, these assorted uh, profiles. You'll see a bunch more paper. <clears throat> this is a BSA for a boring controller table. Over here we have an Ingersoll Rand 200 horsepower uh, air compressor. Over here behind the BSA we have a Towegi double end tendoner that's been uh, converted to an edge bander. And just down the way over here we've got another Towegi that's the very same machine except it actually still is a double end tendoner. This is a Cook Trim Pro. This is a very nice machine. I think it was manufactured in 1998, but as you can see, it's practically brand new. It's barely been used. It's a real nice machine. And this is set up where the, uh, this of course moves on out to <clears throat> for your various length stock uh, that stack for the feed here it goes down to the other side and return here but if you're familiar with the uh, uh, cook trim pro this is this is a good one this particular company had intentions of going into the solid wood door line so they bought their equipment to move into the solid wood door line but they did not make solid wood doors for very long and so they bought this equipment they didn't use it very much and now it's ours this is a Towegi double end tenoner and this was also like most of this equipment was all out in operation prior to us uh, getting it. Uh, our smallest molder, a little Wannig forehead molder, it has all, uh, uh, they put calibration devices on there. We also got a power feed on each end. Just a little uh, Wannig forehead molder. Controller here of course and then this meters for all the different heads. What we have here is we palletize this paper and vinyl. As you can see, we have a lot of it. Some of it's paper, some of it's laminate, some of it's vinyl. Some of these pallets that have the wood with the cardboard around it is a Pergo product. You see over here in the far corner that we're stacked two and three high. That's all a Pergo product. And so we have a number of tractor and trailer loads of paper, laminate, vinyl, and Pergo product right here. We have a lot of roller conveyors. Uh, this particular stack is 30 inches wide and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Looks like 10 foot sections. And so you can see we have a lot of it. We also uh, kept the feet with these conveyors. Back in the back we have some cantilevered shelves which are really nice for a storage facility. We have more of those cantilevered shell, shelf units over here. 
And so what we've done is we've got these uh, cantilevered shelf units in uh, uh, pairs. And so there's one, two, three pairs here. I think three more pairs back there. But they're a real nice uh, shelving setup. I don't think you can see from there, but I've got one, two, three, four, five motorized roach conveyor tables. Back here I have two more motorized roach conveyor tables and then also more just regular conveyors, regular straight roller conveyors. This is a uh, downdraft sanding table. This was part of their solid wood door line and so I'm confident this table wasn't used much. Over here we have a uh, a wide motorized conveyor. It's a 51 inch belt. You see here we have four stock feeders and these four stock feeders were all set up on the uh, uh, in front of the molding machines. Behind them, we have more Roach motorized conveyors. Over here, we have more shelf units, but these are the same type shelves as we have set up over on the wall that has some of our paper and vinyl on them. Here's more shelves, more shelves. Here's a four foot uh, motorized uh, conveyor. Uh, more motorized conveyors, more roach motorized conveyors, and then once again this this dust pipe, but it's all labeled and it all goes with individual pieces of equipment. This is a little, uh, well I call it a picture frame uh, machine where you just clamp the uh, uh, two pieces together and it, it, it brads your corners. This is a piece of equipment that I think Berg manufactured themselves but they've got the glue spreader here and their things here so this is uh, probably set up to go ahead and uh, uh, glue flat surfaces or one of the different products they made. This, this machine over here is a little glue spreader They've got another uh, miscellaneous press thing, and so some of the equipment here uh, they manufactured for their in-house products, and they just manufactured them in-house. Just a door or a, a sweeper where uh, to clean the, clean pieces off. Uh, probably before they applied glue on their different things. And then like any manufacturing facility, there are a number of miscellaneous tables. And you see all these miscellaneous tables, some of them have slides and different things, but we have a number of miscellaneous tables. Uh, we've got a big grinder here. Uh, we have a uh, couple of small dust systems right here. Uh, this is another uh, in-house manufactured press. Behind here, you can't hardly see it, but, but uh, there's a light underneath here and all those sort of things. This is to re-roll veneer for an inspection table to inspect your veneer. All this is just an old radial arm saw. Uh, more miscellaneous tables. 